Demolition number 10. This is a 2008 Bailey chassis with GSXR 1000 Suzuki power. This is Amber Balkan in the 10. Inside of row number two, a Bailey chassis starting inside of row two. This is Eric Klassen driving the car number 31. He is sponsored by LG Transport and Green Valley Equipment. On the outside, in a henchcraft out of Winkler, the pioneer number 27 is Chris Unruh. Inside row number three, a Bailey chassis sponsored by FXR and Energy 106. This guy won his first feature ever in the Northern Lightning Sprint Association. Just a couple of weeks ago, the 29 is Dylan Sabatini. And rounding out the field, the 13 is Al Giesbrecht. And here we go racing. Well, you can hear these drivers shifting down the front straightaway. These retain the original six speed motorcycle transmission. But they do shift them once down the front straightaway at the start. A great battle up front, Amber Balkan and the two of Bernard. As they start to pull away from the field. Dylan Sabatini working on the 31 right now as Roland Bernard begins to get away in the packing away mobile storage number two. Well, as I was mentioning, these you retain the six speed motorcycle transmission. They have a hand clutch just like the motorcycles. They do run a chain drive, not a drive shaft. These engines produce 185 horsepower and the cars are only 750 pounds. Tough break for Amber Balkan in the 10. Looking to see if she's gonna get going again. Yellow flag is out on the racetrack. Amber Balkan getting around in the North Star Emory Demolition 10 car at the bottom of the racetrack in turn number four. As our Castrol technical officials head on over there. These chassis all 4130 chromoly just like the World of Outlaws full size sprinters. They share very similar components. These cars run 13 inch wheels. A full size sprint car runs 15 inch wheels. These cars, instead of using a 25 square foot top wing, they actually use a 16 square foot top wing. And well, these cars can produce about 600 or more pounds of downforce with that big top wing. So of course, angle is critical, but they are non-adjustable during the race. That is part of the NLSA rule package. You cannot adjust your wings like in a full size sprint car during the race. You can set the wing at a given angle and position before the race starts, but it must be locked in position once you hit the racetrack. We're gonna try to get Amber Balkan going once again here in the Emory Demolition number 10. She is also sponsored by Freightliner Manitoba. All right, looking like we're getting set to go now. Or are we under yellow here? We're under yellow. All right, one to go here for the number one self storage, number two. All right, of course, one yellow flag in a heat race gets you the black flag. Essentially, you're out if you cause the yellow, and it was deemed that Amber Balkan caused the yellow. So she is off to the pit area. All right. Roland Bernard gonna lead him to the flag. Dylan Sabatini right behind him. The 31 of Klassen right behind him. Here we go. Take a look at the number 29 lifting the front wheels off the ground. The right front came right off the racetrack down the front straightaway. 
Sabatini has been rocket fast in 2012. He, of course, competed for many years in a four-cylinder stock car and made the jump to the Lightning Sprints a couple years ago. But right now, it's all Roland Bernard in the Henchcraft. That's a 2007 Henchcraft with a 2008 Suzuki GSX-R1000 motorcycle engine. Very experienced oval dirt racer is Roland Bernard and a two-time NLSA champion. Well, Dylan Sabatini sinking his teeth into the two, not letting them get away, but that two is tough to beat on any day. The Packing Away Mobile Storage Pemina Insurance PDL Chartered Accountants number two looking strong as he's got that henchcraft flying in turn three and four. White flag is all oh, troubles for the two. Roland Bernard, the packing away mobile storage. Number two with problems. Tough break for him. He pulls off the racetrack, stays out of the way. Dylan Sabatini, the FXR Racing 29, who picked up his first feature win a couple weeks ago, takes the checkers in heat number one of the Northern Lightning Sprint Association. Well, looks like Roland Bernard had everybody covered in that one but was unable to take the checkered flag. A little slower lap times tonight for the Northern Lightning Sprint Association. The fastest time there in that race was 19.2, and that was held by the driver of the number two, Roland Bernard. 29 heading to the scale area as we get set to go with heat Number two in the Lightning Sprints, and starting on the pole, a guy that won his first feature last Thursday night here at Red River Co-op Speedway, a brand new 2012 Henchcraft chassis with Suzuki Power on board. This is the number one out of Dufresne, Manitoba. The driver is Chris Soren. On the outside, in a 2010 Bailey chassis out of Winnipeg, this is the Bell's Property Services, number 14 of Ed Bell. Inside row two, a new Henchcraft, sponsored by Mazer Group, the 35W, is Wally Butler, a former SCCA sports car racer. On the outside, a 2010 Bailey, new to this driver in 2012. The number seven is Brent Steg. Steg, of course, sponsored by White Shell Dairy Foods and Steg Building and Design. Inside row number three, the 21 is Rich Nelson, and outside, the car number 17, Jesse Giesbrecht. Jesse, a rookie this year, only running a 750. All right, heat number two of the Northern Lightning Sprints. Here we go. Wally Butler on the inside in the Mazer Group 35W. But right now, Chris Soren looking strong off the pole. Heads up, Ed Bell gets sideways to 21 in the wall and upside down. Ed Bell gets around in turn four. The 21 tries to avoid it and hooks the wall and goes upside down on the front straightaway. That will bring out a red flag situation. All drivers must stop immediately on the racetrack. Well, the seven of Brent Stegg on the back straightaway. Self-employed carpenter, he's been racing for about a year and a half. The 21 car gets back on all fours. That being driven by Rich Nelson. Well, our safety crew down there checking things out on the 21. A little bit of front wing damage, obviously, on that 21 car. Not sure what's on the left side of the car, or if he'll be able to continue.
Ed Bell in the car number 14 trying to get rolling once again. Of course, with the addition of the 1,000cc engines, these cars ran the first three years of their existence with a 750. They went up about 35 to 40 horsepower in 2012, and as a result, a little tougher to handle these cars now. They have a harder right rear tire, so the addition of the 35 to 40 horsepower plus the harder right rear tire has basically brought a tougher to drive race car, which was kind of the idea behind this class in the first place. They do have to pedal them a little bit with the 750 and the softer tire for a few years. It was hammered down most of the time here at Red River Co-op Speedway, but now they have to use a little bit of throttle control. And sometimes, of course, these cars get a little tricky in the corners. And right there, Ed Bell found that out. Ed Bell out of Winnipeg, 2010 Bailey with a 2007 Suzuki GSXR 1000 engine. All right, just checking things out on the front straightaway. I want to tell you that the concession area is still open. Be sure and grab yourself a cheeseburger, a hot dog, a smoky. We have French fries and gravy, Pepsi Cola, and all kinds of other great stuff. Also, at turn five, ice cold Molson products. You'll want to get some of those as well here tonight. A beautiful Manitoba evening for Monday Night Racing here in Winnipeg. I want to thank all of you for coming out. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Still have. Well, one Northern Lightning Sprint heat to finish off. Then we will go to a brief intermission and come back with, looks like a total of four features here tonight. So plenty of race action on deck right here tonight at Red River Co-op Speedway. Well, Jesse Giesbrecht rolling up to the rest of the pack over in turn number four. That is actually a 2005 ART chassis. It's built in California. ART is very, very big in the sprint car world, the full-size world, that is. And that is a 2005 ART chassis with a 2004 Suzuki GSXR 750 engine on board. And Jesse is out of Winkler, Manitoba. So it looks like we have, what, four cars remaining? For the rest of heat number two. No, it'll be five. Brent Stegg still on the back straightaway. He competed for a couple of years in a Beast chassis. I believe that car is still for sale. And if you're looking to get into lightning sprint racing, you can go to the website at nlsprints.com. That is nlsprints.com. Know the guy that does that site. He's kind of cool. Well, certainly a driver to watch in this one, the 35W of Wally Butler. Told you earlier, he was a former SCCA sports car racer. He's out of Narrow, Manitoba. That is a brand new Henchcraft 2012, a beautiful car with a Suzuki GSXR 1000 power plant sponsored by New Holland Agriculture, New Holland Construction, Dynapack, Toro, and Mahindra Tractors. 2011 was his rookie year on dirt. And he has gotten to it real quick, has Wally Butler, doing a real nice job in that 2012 Henchcraft. Don't forget to grab your 50-50 tickets here tonight at Red River Co-op Speedway. As the 21 being pulled off the racetrack, we'll get you an update as soon as we can. Looks like a little, little bit of top wing damage, front wing crinkled a little bit. Can't see much else from this vantage point. Maybe a right rear rim bent or an axle, hard to say from this vantage point, but they'll check that car out in the pit area. We get set to resume Northern Lightning Sprint heat number two. All right, we are going to go with, okay, red flag gone. We are going to go with a complete restart here. So Brent Stegg on the back straightaway will get to join the field for a complete restart. Sands, Rich Nelson.
Ed Bell pulling off the racetrack in car number 14. So he spun, perhaps mechanical difficulties caused him to spin. So Ed Bell gonna head back to the pit area and check things out. Looks like the Northern Lightning Sprint's rolling on the back straightaway now. So we've got the one of Soren, the 35W of Wally Butler, the seven of Stegen, the rookie, the number 17, Jesse Giesbrecht out of Winkler. Getting ready to do battle and they get lined up and we're getting ready to go racing. Look at that. Green flag is out, here we go. Wally Butler almost pulls out a line and remembers it at the last second and stays behind the one till the orange cone. That's why that cone is there. Couple of henchcrafts battling up front. One down, seven to go. Chris Soren, your leader. Chris Soren pulling away from the 35W of Wally Butler. Two down, six to go. Best lap so far, 18.6 seconds for Chris Soren. So a little quicker than the previous group. Two to go, your leader is still the one of Soren. White flag, one to go. All right, your leader coming out of turn number four. This is the Walker Auto Parts number one, he takes a checkered flag. Chris Soren followed by the 35W of Wally Butler. Third is gonna go to the Stegg Building and Design Performance Supply, White Shell Dairy Foods number seven of Brent Stagg. Fourth spot, the LG Transport number 17 out of Winkler. That is Jesse Giesbrecht. All right, before we go to intermission, of course, we told you.